Good evening and welcome to Collector Cars. I'm Lance, your host. With me, they'll never guess. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. The duo. The, oh, my goodness. And how long did you two rehearse that? Two minutes in the uh, green room? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mark Patty and Mr. Good. Bill Mergens, how you doing? Good. Good. We are in the only room in s in the county, probably in the state, that actually has the air conditioning on. Yeah. Don't ask. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask. Is, is that your teeth chattering, yes. Mark? Or are you yes. getting nervous? No, that's teeth that's chattering. That's teeth cold. chattering. Yes, it's oh, going to snow soon. You. I swear. Yeah. I. You know, this is. I love it when I got this kind of weather for the shows. You're now, the only one here. Everybody that else suffered. I'm running around in shorts at Joey D's and they're all looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, when are you going to wrap this up, Lance? <laughs> You're the only one who likes but it. But hey, I, um, we had it, we, it, we've been lucking out. I, I put it in the newsletter. Two weeks in a row, it was freezing cold all week and then it warmed up quite a bit for Friday and Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Sunday, we won't talk about that. Yeah. That band of rain came through and it just kind of messed things up. But, same thing this week. It's going to be cold tonight, but tomorrow it's going to be warmer Warm. at night than it was during the daytime today. Mm -hmm. And then fr uh, Friday and Saturday are going to be even nicer. Yep. So, and then from Sunday through till after till the day after Christmas, we'll be done with shows for the week, and then we'll do the one show at Chili's and uh, and go from there. And then we'll Good. do and by popular demand, we're going to do New Year's Day. Good. I had an awful lot of people that said, "Hey." What do you mean you're canceling it? Where are we going to go? I don't want to stay home and watch football. Mm -hmm. Well, you got football fans and you got that'll stay home and watch and do the parades and whatnot. Are and the you, rest are of you the serving food. eggnog? Eggnog? Yeah. We know. could. I did hot chocolate when it got down into the 20s in, in Northport. Yeah, I got hot chocolate for everybody. $8 a glass. <laughs> what do you mean $8 a glass? <laughs> <laughs> we got to make money somewhere. <laughs> we we got to do something somewhere, right? Um, Mr. Mergens, you made an announcement up at uh, Joey D's that you are going to be doing a little something different this year. Uh, you'll still do some of your photography stuff, but you've got, you are a real estate agent and you are going to do what now? Well, I'm, you know, I'm still doing the photography stuff, but um, I'm going to, I'm going to combine the real estate uh, that I do with uh, cars and I'm going to come up with a real estate and car website mm -hmm. so that, you know, you can go find a car show, but if you have a question on real estate, you can do that too. So. I'm um, looking for ideas, but what I'm looking for is houses with big garages. Mm -hmm. So if you have a house with a big garage, preferably, you know, three or more attached. <coughs> um, if they are detached, um, I need to be able to see it in the photo so that I can get it all in one shot. Mm -hmm. And um, and then I'll feature those on the website and we'll talk about, you know, houses with big garages and now, all now sorts of things. My house, I have a big garage. Yeah. It just looks small because it's so packed with yeah. all the crap we yeah. can't get in the attic. <coughs> <laughs> Would you believe my wife called me a pack rat today? No. Yes. No. Yes. She looked me straight she in actually the eyes and she to you? said, man, look at this place. You are a pack rat. She actually Well, said every time I clean out and I throw stuff away, the following day I need what I threw out. Right. Even though I hadn't used it in five years prior. It's always the way it is. I always, I pick things up and then I go, I might need that. You should see the stuff in my office. Can I got the original. No, I got so. the original yeah, sign-up sheets from the very first car show we did. Wow! But you know what I can't find? The the taping from the very first TV show. I got that tape out for something to do something with it one day and can't find anything. Hmm. I've seen that. that. Yeah. You have? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you notice my teeth were chattering? Yeah. Did you notice the wet spot under the chair? No, actually, that was <laughs> hidden by the <laughs> by the desk. But yeah, we got uh, another three in a row coming. Hooters tomorrow night, um, Albertson on Friday, Wendy's on Saturday, and I think it's going to be three be good. nice weather days. And I, I think we're going to really luck out with it. Yeah. Um, last week. Now, were you here last week? Yes, you I were was here, here last, last week. week. Okay. All right. Well, uh, here you're on the. Uh, I'm going to do this real quick, and we'll talk about it a little more later. You're on the charity committee with us. We've got five people on the charity committee, which I know this has been a lot of, a lot of people don't understand, even though as many times as I've announced it, the committee decides what we're doing, where the money goes. Yep. Um, I, they they want to see cancel checks. I got thousand dollar cancel checks, several yep. of them to kids with cancer, home, um, uh, center of hope, hope and all yep. this. Yep. And we've been trying to come up with something a little different because the 50 50s, we've been doing it for 12, 13 years. Yep. Well, due to the generosity 
of a, a wonderful man has donated a Walt Frazier signed NBA basketball. Whoa! Which, All right. which one wants to get close on it? Yeah. Really? C come right in on that. And that is authentic. And on the back, there is a there sticker. Go. There it is, Walt Frazier. On the back, there is a sticker, which is um, JSA. It's James Spence Authentication. He's one of the biggest in the country. And that little tag on the back guarantees the folks that that is, in fact, um, you know, an, an authentic uh, signature. Uh, Spalding signed uh, basketball by Walt Frazier, and it's certified with a number. There's a certification number and everything, and all that is right on our website that you can go to. What we're going to do is sell tickets. Uh, Gus Molasses, who wrote the, he wrote several books, um, sports memorabilia type books, and uh, he's going to get us uh, an autographed book. So we're going to have two or three items in like a basket of sports memorabilia. And you'll have the opportunity to buy a ticket. Uh, this ball, I believe he said, was uh, valued somewhere around $350, $400. I mean, yeah. that's, you know. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, Walt Frazier was, you know. And there's a lot else. of sports people out there who like e to have that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Buy a, a ticket for them if they don't come to the car show. Buy a ticket and win it for them. Mm-hmm. I know you tried desperately to win that toolbox and just <laughs> wasn't meant to be that time. No, no. You know, I was always too short and too chubby to play basketball, so. But I made a real good backstop when they when we played baseball. I was the little like in the in the <laughs> in the movie uh, uh, Sandlot. Mm -hmm. I was like the little fat kid, the catcher that played ball, you know, endlessly when I was a kid. So you used to people throwing things at you. I'm used to people throwing things at me, yes. Thank you, Mark. I'm, 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 I appreciate you bringing that up. That mm. was uh, something they needed to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next season, we're throwing. <laughs> really? Yeah. I can always count on Mark and Bill. You know? <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we've got the second part of the film clip, and this, as Bill told you last week, is the show that he started himself in Colorado as a strictly a Camaro show Camaro years show, ago. Yeah. And it has grown and grown into a major event yeah. out in mm -hmm. Colorado. So, Mr. Uh, Perkins, if you will uh, roll the footage. Photos are by Terry Lewis, our Rocky Mountain reporter. Ooh. Here we go. We start with the 69 Roadrunner. Road oh. mm. what, what do you know about that car? Red. Oh, oh here yeah. we go. Very nice. Got new uh, custom wheels. We should cut his mic off when we do yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? That's nice. You know, they're convertible, too. Not not yeah. that many now, road runners are convertible. My personal taste, do you like the big wheels on them? No. I don't. Not on I don't either. Either. My personal taste, no. I don't. I mean, yeah. they're flashy. They're yeah. nice. But I... Uh, it, it's everybody trying to take the old school to new school. Yeah. And with a Still car like taste. that, I think it takes away, especially yeah. a Hemi car. Now, you know um, what I liked them on? Was Mike Thompson's Galaxy. Yeah. Now, I it, like them on it, that car. it depends what kind of car you're doing. Yeah, it's exactly. custom, but you know, here you got a Roadrunner. I mean, I, I don't know. And a Hemi. That, that's yeah. Yeah. probably a little bit better all around. Now, other than the fact that it's white, Mark, do you know what that one is? Yeah. S 65 Skylark GS Grand Sport. Again, th now there's a car you don't see too often no. anymore. No. Um, the, the back, you know, the back. Uh, Lights and so on are very much like the old Wildcat cars were, mm -hmm. um, you know. So they took a lot of that styling from it. Well, that um, back bumper with the lighting looks very much like a Chevelle, '68 Chevelle. Looks yeah, very except much that it, like it, it, you know, it had the chrome all the way around, and, yeah. and uh, yeah. it was actually curved, whereas the Chevelle very really wasn't. Similar. So. Yeah. Buick Look at motor. this. Yeah. Nice and clean. '63 Studebaker. Mm. Talk about rare. Oh, yeah. man. And again, in a convertible, too. Where are these convertibles coming from in Colorado? I don't know. You don't have convertible days there. Oh, wait a minute. I had a convertible there, too. Oh, did you? Yeah. You'd have to go to a lot of shows to see one of these. Oh, yes, yeah. you would. Very few of these around. Look at this. Nice dash setup. Mm -hmm. Steering wheel. Nicely done car. Yep. Look all that. original. Yeah. Look at that. Very clean, very nice. They had, I noticed they had quite a few Mopars at this. Here we go. Firebird. 68 Firebird. You know how you can tell it's a 68? 
How? There's no wing window. See, 67 had the wing window and 68 did not. Did not. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Help right. you out there. It's kind of just like the Camaro was. Yeah. Mm hmm. 69 had a different, little bit different body style. It's a couple inches wider. Um, but yes, you know, lots of Camaros we see, but we don't necessarily see a lot of Firebirds. Yeah, it's pretty clean, pretty original car. What, these are not, you know, glitzy kind of paint job kind of cars, but just the fact that they're so clean and yeah. so sharp, yeah. you know. And it's got a performance manifold on it. There you ah, go. Ah, this I like. 56. 56 Bel Air. Now see, again, the big w those big wheels are getting real popular now. Yeah. I mean, popular. on some stuff they look good. I just don't like the ride of them. The tire is so narrow. Mm -hmm. um, it rides a little harder, stiffer, um, but uh, that's a nice car. Now you had a 56. Oh, 55. no, you had a 55. 55. Now look at this. Yeah, it's not original. No, oh, but that's nice. No, but you know, it's and, and the thing is, it's, you know, it's, it's certainly customized it. Yep. Um, and, and again, you know, where do you go with that sometimes? I mean, yeah. it's a two-door hardtop. If that were a post car, I'd probably be more inclined to be doing that. But yeah. Hard top, mm. I'd rather see more original, I think. Dotson. All right, Dotson. 71, 240Z. Oh, 240. Yeah, 70s yeah. was 240, 260, 280s. Yeah. Those are hot little cars. Yeah. I had a 280, 1977, yeah. yeah. It was a hot car. It well, was a mover. They used to road race them, and they used to compete with the Corvettes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and road racing handling. Oh, handling was incredible. Yeah. On those. Yeah, yeah, a buddy of mine had one. Yep. Again, nice and clean. Yeah, it's got st straight six. Stock motor, you know, that came in it. 57. There we go, 57 Nomad. Hmm. Again, this one's been, you know, been modified as, uh, as well. Yeah, it looks like it's on airbags. On air ride suspension. And if you're going to go, I guess you might as well go all the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That is sharp. Yeah. And you, you can kind of see there how um, nice interior. You can kind of see how the cars are all parked along the street. Mm -hmm. uh, double wide streets, um, mom and pop kind of shops, uh, tree lined. Uh, excellent, excellent uh, mm -hmm. location yes. for a car show. Yeah. LT1. Mm. New, new drive line. And you know, now there's a, there's a great idea. I mean, the guy probably gets 20 miles a gallon with the dog, oh, I think. Oh, yeah. 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 Probably more than that yeah. if he's riding, cruising with it. Yep. Yeah. 54 Chevy Bel Air. And there's a car you don't see. No, you sure don't. And it's a two-door hardtop, too. Yeah. That's the other thing is that you're not going to see that very often. You can kind of see how it's now starting to creep towards that, that 55 Five. rear end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so you were starting to see some of that styling, whereas the early 50s were a little bit more sloped. And I don't think that's a white. I think that's more a pearl. Yeah. And in a pearl, that that's sharp. Yeah. Fifty-three Studebaker. Now that's different. Well, Terry found some really unusual cars in this. Yeah, this he sure. did. Yeah, and, and, and he did in the last clip too. Mm-hmm. Now I'm wondering, is that postcar, a Silver Hawk, or, or what Studebaker it is? Yeah, I don't think so. I think the those were. More hard tops yeah. as well. Yeah, this one just had on the tag 53 Studebaker. It didn't have a like mm -hmm. a series to it. But very nice. Oh, yeah. 49 Olds 88. Amazing. Now that's a tank. Yeah, that's a big <laughs> car. That's a big car. <laughs> that's that's a got big that slope back. You know, yeah. that's th that styling at that point was, was just excellent. Yeah. Coming out of the war, they changed the cars around. Um, uh, you know, they really started to put some stuff into them. 38 